WTFNN. Headline news update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in Clearwater, Florida. It's Friday. It's 9 a.m., 30 minutes to go until that opening bell. And we have some market action as it has been a wild week and it doesn't look like it's going to stop just yet. Dow futures currently negative 255 points or just more than a full percent, trading 24,365. S&P futures trading off 20 points or three quarters of a percent, trading 26.58. And NASDAQ futures off 74 points or 1.1%, trading 66.86. Start things off, let's take a look at the VIX. And as we've seen quite an acceleration to the downside, Tuesday, Wednesday, and of course yesterday, and it looks like it'll be the same today. We've gone from a VIX approaching 15 to almost 25, 24.94 currently in that volatility index as volatility premium is in this market as it should be. Let's jump over to the Nadex platform, check in on some of the futures markets with 30 minutes to go until that opening bell. Started off with the Dow 30, then quite a little slide, getting a bid in the last call it hour from 8 a.m. looks to be the low from there we're up 115 points off that low currently trading 24,415 in the Dow 30 s p 500 similar price action reaching the lows at about 8 a.m. getting a little bit of a bid off of those lows 2662 currently in the s p 500 nasdaq 100 currently trading 66.89 Euro US dollar, we're seeing some dollar weakness, Euro US dollar strength, Euro trading 123.106 currently. Gold contract, as we're seeing dollar weakness, seeing some gold, some gold strength, check out that spike. We'll just back this up in the overnight session. So this is the close, excuse me, that is Thursday, this is yesterday. That is, of course, gold appreciating in the afternoon as the market kind of began to slide. It's about four o'clock and gold up 1326 currently. So the headlines out there this morning, of course, as Dow futures dropping 300 points. That was the headline. We're up a little bit from that level as the street extends sell off after possibly the tariffs imposed by President Trump, or at least saying he's going to impose them on steel, on aluminum, and how that may reverberate throughout the markets. Some other fundamental movers out there. You have JCPenney stocks tumbling on revenue miss for the holiday quarter as retail. JCPenney not quite cutting it to what the market was looking for. So stay tuned. We have our man Larry Pezzavento. He should have quite an hour as we see where this market opens. Coming up right now with Trade What You See. I'll be back here at 10 o'clock with Tom. Live programming all day at TFNN.com. Have a great day, everybody.